So back in 1967, a scientist by name Milgram took a bold step to try executing this experiment of finding out whether the friendship network in the world is connected at all. If you, if you take two people, let's say P1 and P2 in the world, are, there, are they connected through uh, several people in between? Or is the world of friendship networks disconnected? So he took a bold step and conducted a very neat experiment. All that he did was, he chose a person P1 and gave a letter to this person P1. A, hand, a, a letter which the which with this person P1 was supposed to pass this on to a person P2 in some other part of the world and P1 and P2 um, obviously did not know each other they were picked uniformly at random let's say and P1 was supposed to deliver this letter to P2 now given that P1 did not know P2 now there is another rule here the address of P2 is uh, specified in the letter, but P1 cannot post it to P2 directly. He cannot post it to P2 directly. Instead, he is asked to pass it on to someone whom he might know, who might in turn know P2, or he may not know P2. All that P1 should do is pass it on to some other person, let's say A1, whom P1 might know, whom P1 suspects uh, that this particular A1 might know P2 and this A1 should then pass it on to P2, again the same story, he may not know P2. So what he does is he chooses someone, this, this particular A1 chooses someone exactly the way P1 did and sends this letter to A2 asking him to pass this letter to the destination which is P2. This goes on and on, this goes on and on and on. You might suspect that it, it might indeed take a reverse direction and it might reach somewhere else. Now can this happen? I don't think this can happen because when A2 tried giving the letter to A3, he gave it in such a way that he chose A3 in such a way that A3 was someone who sort of was close to P2 if not knew P2 personally was locationally or region wise close to P2. If you remember the previous example, people passed on the letter to the next person they knew who might possibly be closer to P2 than what they are. So this reversal thing may not happen, mostly doesn't happen, right? So what does A3 do here? A3 in turn sends it to another friend of his, namely A4. And A4 sends it to some other friend, let's say um, A5. And A5 sends it to some other friend, namely A6. And A6 might know P2 and A6 will send it to P2. Milgram observed that surprisingly most of the letters that he sent they started off with um, of course the uh, source like this and then reached the destination. In th This entire thing happened in 6 steps on an average. I repeat, the six steps are on an average and Milgram observed this and he published this uh, article in a magazine called Psychology Today and this magazine did uh, and this article did uh, attract a whole lot of attention back then and people did not believe that this was true, that any two people in the world are simply separated by a mere six hops by six hops i mean with six friends you can always connect any two people 
absolutely any two people can be connected you pick any person um, uh, a another person another person b you will observe that there are six people separating them and again as i as i told you this is on an average six hops and milgram did this daring experiment and published his results now what is this to say what 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 is this obvious or is it counterintuitive okay it is indeed counterintuitive why is it counterintuitive let's see the counterintuitive part first this is counterintuitive because the world as you know has roughly let's say to the best of what i know the uh, population of the world is uh, more than 6 billion people out of the 6 billion people all that we are saying is um, very two people are connected by just six hops now that's unbelievable right just 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 six people separate each other that's unbelievable because this, this looks like too huge a number and this looks like too small a number right so what's happening here um, we, this is the counterintuitive part of it the world is big the world is big but it is surprisingly but is surprisingly small as well at the same time surprisingly small by small we mean of course the world is big because it's six billion people but then the world is uh, small because it is six people who separate any two people right so if you want to know someone in the world, uh, it is not very difficult for you. You can indeed know them through a friend's 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 friend, right? Uh, let's see why it is actually not counterintuitive. It's not so counterintuitive in fact. Let's see wh what's behind this idea. How exactly this happens? So assume this is you and you have some, let's say, 100 friends. So you have some hundred friends and then each one of your friends they in turn have hundred friends each hundred friends each hundred friends each so on as you know at the next step when each person has hundred friends it turns out to be hundred into hundred which is ten thousand friends and as this keeps going on and on so each of your 10,000 friends will have 100 friends each and um, so on, so on and so forth, right, each, each, each level has, so what, what is the number of friends at this level? It is, um, what is, what was um, the, the number of friends, the second level, let me try writing it square instead, 100 square friends, the next level will be the 100, uh, 100 square each one of them will have uh, 100 uh, friends so it will be 100 cube and so on let's say at the um, at the at the tenth level at the tenth level like this at the tenth level you will have 100 so as you can see the f at, at, at this let this let us call this level 0 let us call this level 1 so level 1 has 100 friends level 2 has 200 uh, 100 square friends level 3 has 100 cube friends and so on the 10th level you have 100 to the power of 10 friends that's a huge number and as you can see if you want someone from the from let's say at this person you want to know someone in the world right um, you should just sort of uh, um, slide down the slope of people and the, the, the height of this as you know as I told you 10th level is, is simply 10 hops down so you of all people will know every single person in the world in this in the span of this uh, let's say 10 steps down right it's not counterintuitive 10 is a small number as you can see right this 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 hill sort of grows exponentially it comes down exponentially right so that's the reason why you will be exhausting the entire world's population if you look at your friends 
your friends friends your friends 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 and so on so we saw that it is indeed counter intuitive given that it is 6 billion but uh, any two people are separated by 6 hops said milgram right milgram said this milgram said this and this is indeed counter intuitive but when we see it properly in a different lens we observe that it is not all that counter intuitive it is indeed sort of obvious